So we're going to continue the review and um, I put on the Canvas page where I posted this that after looking at the review I decided a couple of them were too hard and I highlighted them so let's just say I'll point out that the first one that I would skip would be this one. Um, so number 34 I'm not going to do it because I wouldn't put it on the test. I guess I got carried away when I wrote my problem so just say skip this one you don't need it. The factoring was um, just too time consuming just for four little points on, for the final so we're skipping that one. So now we're ready to go on to the integration part of the review. Um, it's going to start easy just using power rule. So 4x to the 11th um, is going to become 4x to the 12th. I divide by 12. 7x cubed will be 7x to the 4th over 4. And the 5 is going to pick up an x and then we're going to have a c. Um, we can reduce the 4 over 12 to just um, x to the 12th over 12. And then minus 7x to the 4th over 4 plus 5x plus c. Um, I know you're thinking right now, do I have to do that? Um, well, let's like make it the right thing anyway. That's not over 12, this would be over 3. I would like you to reduce it so 4 over 12 becomes 1 over 3. If you're thinking, should I do it, then the answer is yes, you should. All right. Um, this next one, I have 2 times the square root of x plus 9 times the cube root of x dx, and I'm going to integrate. First, first step is to rewrite it, so this is 2x to the 1 half plus 9x to the 1 third dx. So for each of these I'm going to add 1 to the exponent. So 1 plus a half is 3 halves. You know you immediately divide by 3 halves. The 9x, when I add 1 to 1 third, I get 4 over 3. I divide by 4 over 3 and I add c. We need to flip those over. So this is 2 over 3 times 2x to the 3 halves and this is 3 over 4 times 9x to the 4 thirds plus c. Um, nothing cancels. It feels like it does, but it doesn't. Instead, it multiplies. So 2 times 2 is 4 over 3, x to the 3 halves. And then I have 3 times 9 is 27 over 4, x to the 4 thirds plus c. So as I keep going, this next one, I have 8e to the 4y plus 3 over y. So with e, I keep the 8e to the 4y, but I remember I have to divide by 4. The 3 over y becomes 3ln natural um, absolute value of y plus c. So 8 over 4 just becomes 2e to the 4y plus 3ln absolute value of y plus c. Remember, I don't really care about the absolute value. If you write it or don't write it, I'm fine. All right, so number 38, I have 2x squared times 5x plus 7x to the negative third. It's really important that the 5x plus 7x to the negative 3 doesn't have a power, so this is not substitution. Really important, it is not. So since it's not substitution, I multiply, so this is a step of simplification. So 2 times 5 is 10. If I have x squared times x, that's x cubed. 2 times 7 is 14. And the x squared with x to the negative 3, 2 plus negative 3 is negative 1 dx. All right. So power rule for the 10x cubed. So this is 10x to the 4th over 4. If you tried to do the power rule for the 14x to the negative 1, you would get 0 over 0, and hopefully that like sets an al alarm for you and you go, I can't do that. Um, instead, this should be 14 ln of x plus c. So 10 over 4, we could write 5 halves, x to the 4th plus um, 14 ln, with or without absolute value, I don't care, plus c. Now this one, if you compare 38 to 39, the big difference here is the parenthesis does have a power. So the parenthesis having a power tells me this one is substitution, and the thing in the parentheses is my u. So I have 2t plus 7. Okay. Derivative of that is 2 dt, and that's exactly what I have. So when I replace this, I really just have u cubed du. So the 2t plus 7, that was my u. The 2dt, that's du. So everything's taken care of. Now I integrate. <coughs> Power goes from 3 to 4. I divide by 4. And then I go back and just say, what was u? u was 2t plus 7. Now it's raised to the 4th. It is over 4 plus c. There is no simplification. This is perfect. 
All right, so I see something similar happening in number 40. And the part that's the same is I have parentheses to a power. So that always tells me substitution. So I have u is 4y minus 1. I take that derivative, I get 4 dy. Now this time I have a problem because I have 3 dy and my du is 4 dy. So instead of turning 3 into 4, I just say divide by 4, divide by 4. So this says du over 4 is dy. Okay. So I integrate. I have 3. dy is du over 4. And then I have u cubed. So we talked about this in class and how to simplify. And what we said is put the numbers together. So the numbers are the 3 and the 4, so that's 3 fourths. u is to the power negative 3, and then I have du. So the rewriting helps me see what are my powers, what do I have to deal with. So keep the 3 fourths. The u gets to increase the power to negative 2, divide by negative 2. Um, and that's a plus c, not a parenthesis. Okay, so again, the numbers go together. So the 4 and the negative 2, that becomes negative 3 over 8. We go back to u, which was 4y, that's a y, minus 1, my new power is negative 2, plus c. Okay. So the square root <coughs> looks a little different, but it really is the same thing that it's kind of like having a parenthesis because if I rewrote it, the power would be 1 half. So I'm just going to say here, I know what's under the square root is z squared minus 7. That's going to be my u. The derivative of that is 2z dz. And I know I don't have a 2, so I'll divide by 2. So my integral is going to be 5. The z dz, if you want to write it right here, is du over 2. And that z squared minus 7 is u, and the power is 1 half. So again, if you want to rewrite it because it feels better, that way you would have the 5 and the 2 together, so that's 5 halves. The u is still to the 1 half du. So rewriting it so that I can see the power rule easily. So I keep the 5 halves. u increases to 3 halves. I divide by 3 halves, and then I say plus c. Right, so let's flip that over. I have 5 halves, I have 2 thirds, I have u, which is z squared minus 7, plus c. I'm just putting some lines in because I know I didn't give myself enough space. The 2's cancel. So I get 5 over 3, I have z squared minus 7, there's supposed to be a 3 halves power here, I didn't write it. So let's write that over here, this is 3 halves plus c. Alright, so I'm going to stop here. I'll do another video with the next couple problems. I'm just trying to keep the videos kind of short.